Hello Taurus! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Art of Love Tarot by Desiree Jarve. Did I say that? No, Denise. Where did I get Desiree from? Denise Jarve. Artwork by Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, website in the back, blueangelonline.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you're interested. Support of Oracle cards. Oracle of Shadows and Light by Lucy Cavendish. Artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have another deck by Lucy I use all the time, so I'm very excited when I noticed this was hers too. Uh, website is teen.simonandschuster.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out as well if you're interested. Bum, 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 bum. All right. With a song and everything. What do we got for Capricorn? Hmm. All right, there seems to be some stress here. I want to keep what I want to keep. Well, we have a good ending. That's something. Okay. Um, this is the strongest energy. This is weird. The environment, you got the Page of Fire and the Mildew Fairy, which it says clean up time, but I keep thinking clean up your mess. Somebody's like, I feel like somebody's, this is like, it feels like this is the cleanup crew or somebody who feels like they need to be the cleanup crew. Um, something's been going on for quite a while. You're used to it. You've been maintaining it. It's kind of like, you know what? It's a fickle situation. I got a lot going on. I just keep maintaining it, and it doesn't fail. Is it optimal? No, but I. there's a lot of moving parts there. So I just keep keep it going the best I can. It's been going on for quite a while, but somebody else is jumping in here, and they're creating a lot of stress. Um, the energy is just going a little weird with them, because it feels like somebody's jumping in, and they're deciding they're going to clean up this whole thing. Two Little Witches, Magical Space Clearing Time. Eh, well, there you go. Poe, Time for Change. To learn something new, to use technology and get it. Get it okay. Cleanup crew. I keep getting cleanup crew. Cleanup crew. Somebody's like they're going to change it. They don't. It's, it's no longer acceptable. Um, clearing out. It says. What does it say? Clean. I don't know. I keep feeling like they're just. They're going to reorganize the whole thing. Uh, they're redoing the whole thing. They might have people, other people, helping them with it. I just intuitively, I keep feeling like they're bringing other people in, and they're just like this can't go on like this anymore. We got to do this differently. They're creating a lot of stress with this. Um, There's a lot of angst with this. I feel like they're, the reason this is happening is because there's other problems in this person's life and they can't do anything in this other situation, but they can mess up your situation, so they are. I just feel like, I don't feel like there's a good reason to do this, but I feel like it's just happening. Um, this person just, they're, and they're, they're not even asking you, they're just getting in there and shaking things up. Um, it's almost like they're venting out their frustration for a different situation on this situation because they can do things in this situation. It reminds me of somebody who's having a problem at home and they can't fix it no matter what they do. So they go so they go to work and they're like, you know what, I can change this, so I'm going to mess this up and I'm going to do this so that way change does happen so somebody else can feel as crappy as I do. It kind of feels like that energy because I feel like this person is also difficult to deal with at this time. Maybe not always, but at this time, it feels like they are difficult to deal with. Um, I, I just keep getting a lot of underlying issues. There's other things they're very unhappy with, and they're venting it out on this situation. It's I keep getting like this whole like work, personal life 
thing. Like their personal life is going wonky. That's very private. They don't talk about that. So they come to work and they're very upset. They can't fix that stuff, but they can change things here. So they're going to change things here. I keep getting it over and over. And there's a lot of stress, a lot of unhappiness, a lot of just trying to create change in the wrong place. It's kind of like when your house is a mess and you can't get to it to clean it up. Uh, or people keep messing it up, so you go to somebody else's house and you you know you clean their house instead because at least you can clean something that'll stay there. Meanwhile, that person does not want you doing that, <laughs> uh, so that becomes an issue. It's almost like you're cleaning things with you know cleaners and scents that they don't even like. That's almost how this feels, you know. Um, Nautilus, Nautilus Princess, power, personal growth, powerful person. Okay. Um, I'm getting more of the need to kind of pull back. I feel like when this first happens, I'm reading the, the, the description at the bottom, but I'm not feeling it for this one. I'm more feeling like I'm going into my shell and I'm protecting myself and I'm just trying to wait it out, kind of like, I don't understand why we have to do this and I'm thinking maybe this person will just get over it and move on. Um, somebody's, they're upsetting the apple cart. And I feel like when it's first happening, I'm just kind of pulling back and I'm just waiting for it to go through. I'm waiting for it to happen. I'm just kind of like, okay, it's happening and let's just see how it all shakes out. I don't really want that, but like, it's like by the time I realized this person has started, they're like halfway through their changes. And I'm like, it's too late. I feel like I can't effectively change it back. Um, and I'm just watching it play out and I'm just okay, I guess I'm going to have to. And I just feel like I have to recoil. I don't really have a choice. I have to just recoil and wait it out. I don't know where it's going. I don't know what to do now with it. As it keeps moving forward, I think that's where things go back into your control or more than they are right now, at least. Um, the lovers comes forward twice. And then the uh, page of swords. Information coming forward. This person only can go so far with this situation. I feel like whatever goes on, they make a bunch of changes and then they just kind of, they ditch. Um, it's not satisfying to them. They only get so far. They make some changes. They mess things up. I can't, I feel like they're messing things up anyway. And then they just kind of go. Um, I feel like they're just going. They're like, this isn't working for me. I've done what I can here. I got to move on to something else. I don't, it seems like they're taking their energy and moving somewhere else. It says on this thing something about, please don't lose hope. I don't know. I feel like they're just fed up with the situation. It's weird. It's like they're, they're jumping into it. They're going to fix it. They're going to make it right. They make a bunch of changes, They then they're like, this is as far as I can take this situation, and then they just go. That's what I keep getting. Um, I, there's words on that card, and that's nice, but that's what I'm getting. When that happens, though, when they ditch, they kind of go, they just kind of leave. They're only there for a short period, they're not there for very long. But now everything's a disarray, and I realize, at this point, I can't go backwards. I keep feeling like I can't go backwards, but you're in control again. I feel like what's left over, I can straighten up. And the first thing I do is just straighten everything up and organize it. I'm just going to straighten up and organize what's here now. It's almost like whatever it was, it's like maybe this used to be, this used to be a bedroom and now it's an office. Same space, but different things in here. All right, let me just straighten it up. Let me, this is the office. This is a desk. There's a computer here now. There's these ports moving in. They, this is what's happening here. This is near this. I can see this board over here where I can write things down. I'm assessing what's here. I'm straightening it up. I'm cleaning it up, organizing it, evaluating what's here. I get that lover's card. I'm just, but I'm absorbing it. I'm absorbing it and I'm figuring it out. Um, I feel like I'm realizing I don't have the luxury of just kind of figuring it out slowly. I got to jump into this. I got to jump into this now that I know what's here. And I got to get a hold of it. And, and that way it can go back where it was. Well, I can't take it back where it was, but I can put it more online to where it needs to be. Because it seems like you know where it needs to be. And it's kind of like, all right, there's things that have changed here. 
this there was a harsh way to do it, but this could go better. So let me deal with what's here now. It's an office. It used to be a bedroom. It's not. It's an office now. So let's just see what I can make this happen. But I got to jump in and make it happen fairly quick, or else it's, we're going to have different problems. It, this ironically works to your um, works to your benefit, benefit, your advantage, whatever you want to call it, because I'm getting uh, the lovers again, the Queen of Cups, and the Sewer Mermaid, which is telling me I don't really love it, but I'm making it work. I don't really love it, but I'm making it work, and I also feel like the longer it goes, the better it's going to fit you. It's probably going to take you. I hope this doesn't sound bad. I keep getting it might take you a full year before you're actually comfortable with it and feel secure with it again. Not it's not like and it's not like it's just you're unhappy until that moment. It's kind of like we're building up to it. The, the longer you're with it, the better you feel. It's like if you compare now to a year from now, a year from now you're you're completely comfortable again. You know, it just it's going to slowly progress up to it. I think that's it. Okay. Alright, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com. This is James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.